Hey, what's up everybody? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you save your custom reports or even dashboards as templates so you can easily reuse them later in all the other sub accounts. Now, if you're an agency or a SaaS business, you want to build these custom reports one time with your own branding. And then if you upload them as a template, they can be later reused in the other sub accounts or if you're a SaaS business by your other clients, right? So let's dive into my screen here and I'll show you how can you get this set up. All right, so here's an exported version of the report that I want to use as a template. Now I've used an example of plumber. So let's say if you're a plumbing agency that helps plumbers get more business. So this is the logo right here. We have the date range and then we have some reporting metrics. Now I've built it one time. I want to upload it to templates so I can easily reuse it. So how do we do it? I'm going to head over to my high level account and right now I'm under reporting and custom reports. And this is the report that I have set up in order to make it available to the templates. You will need to upload it, but you will see that it says, please ensure all roles have at least view access. And how do we solve this? That's very easy. So you just open the report right here. Then of course, set it up just like I have done here with a nice cover page and having some metrics and graphs right here. Then you want to make sure that you click on this manage permission and then make sure that this is not a private report because if it is private, then it cannot be uploaded to the templates, right? And here you can configure the agency user, the account admin and decide these permission levels here. So you can give them full access or view access, however you want to put it and then hit save right here and then hit save again. And then if we go back now, we should be able to upload report template. So let's go ahead, click on that and you can give it a name. So it says Plo Promers report. Then you can upload it to any one of these categories. Let's say if it is related to lead attribution, you can do that or maybe CRM analytics and then just go ahead and hit save. Now, once you click on upload it, it will ask you for a few more details especially a cover image. So you want to upload that just to make sure that it looks a bit more branded. I'm going to upload this cover image. Of course, you can add any one of these. Then you can also add a preview image, which will show up in the asset library or the templates library. Then you can also add prerequisites to avail this template. For example, if you are reporting on a custom metric or something related to the pipeline, you can say something like requires a pipeline to be set up. Similarly, if there's anything else, you could mention that here. You can add more prerequisites here. You can also show this template as featured if you want to and have it in a color that you like maybe something like this. Then you can select tags. For example, if it has appointment data, we have contact data, lead sources. So anything that is included as part of this template, you could go ahead and select that. And then you have to write a short description for this template. So in this case, we could say something like stay up to date about your leads, appointments, and deals. Then we have the long description where we can say something like, this report will provide you and then add bullet points, leads, data, appointment, data, deals, overview of leads over time. And of course, you can add anything else that you like here. Once you are satisfied with all these settings, just give them a quick review and then go ahead and click on save, hit publish and hit confirm. And now we have our template saved. And now if we go back, I'll show you the part where you can use this, right? So now let's say we are in another sub account. How can we leverage this template? Or if you're a SaaS business, how would your clients leverage this? So if they click on new report here, they will have this option to select from template library. So if they click on that, they will find your template right here. You can see it is featured. So they could go ahead and preview it or just choose this template right away. And it will just take a few seconds and have that template installed in their account with all the metrics that you had planned. So give it a few seconds and here it is. You can see it is beautifully set up. And of course, it will reflect the data in that account. Since I don't have any data in this account, that's why it shows zero here. But you get the idea that it will show all the metrics that are configured in this report. And that is how you can save endless hours 
doing this simple thing using templates. Lastly, you could do the same thing with dashboards. So if you head over to your high level dashboards and click on these three dots, you will find the same option, which is upload dashboard template. So what this will do is it will take a snapshot of your current dashboard and then you can create a template out of it just the way we did with customer reports and any of your clients or sub accounts can use that to have a dashboard ready within seconds. So that was about this tutorial. I hope you found some value in this. If you have any questions, feel free to go through our help docs or visit our official YouTube channel. This is Osama signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.